Samsung Galaxy S6 sales look promising so far, but not record breakers. A new patent could do away with the horrible iPhone 6 antenna lines, and we get leaked details on the future Moto G. I'm Jaime Rivera, wishing you all a happy Monday, even if just for the sake of sarcasm. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today start with Windows 10. We thought that uh, all Windows 10 insiders would get a free copy and activation as was stated in the blog post originally. Uh, but uh, ever since then, it seems that things have changed. That quote of activation is no longer available on the blog. Apparently, you'll only get a free copy. We're not sure if it'll get activated. And things have just gotten so confused that uh, Gabe Ohl has been commenting on Twitter over what things to expect, etc., etc. Link to the description. Probably you could decide for it better than we can. Now, since there is a platform war when it comes to which company takes over your set-top box, we saw Apple uh, drop the price tag significantly of the Apple TV to 69 bucks. And if you thought that uh, Google was going to stay behind with the Nexus Player, well, it was dropped to $80, and now you can get it at Amazon for 68 bucks. And given the fact that it is such a good deal, uh, we highly recommend you click the link to the description and probably get one of your own. Now, we've been covering the Moto X 2015 leaks for a while now. We've seen the new dimple design, the probability of a fingerprint scanner, etc, etc. But we hadn't seen anything about the Moto G until today. We got some leaks today, some images that show us a very similar design, and apparently the specifications will be very similar to the current generation Moto G 720p 5-inch display, Snapdragon 410, uh, in addition to a couple of things here and there. Uh, the device looks, again, a lot like the future Moto X, which is not necessarily bad. Uh, we just wonder if there's going to be a change in price tag given the fact that the technology is uh, very similar. Now, it is a general consensus that even though the iPhone 6 does look good, it could be great if it didn't have those horrible antenna lines. And uh, there is this new patent right now being filed by Apple that uh, allows the company to use a new composite material that apparently will help it do away with the antenna lines and bring us an all-metal iPhone 6 design. Now, we're not really sure if this is going to be part of the iPhone 6S design given how close we are to its uh, launch, but hey, we saw the first generation iPhone and the patents came until later. So it could be that Apple will surprise us with this new design. Stay tuned for that. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, if you thought that uh, Samsung's Galaxy S6 was an iPhone 6 killer, think again. Uh, Apple sold 74 million iPhone 6 units in just one quarter, and it seems that so far Samsung has sold 45 million. And uh, yeah, 45 million is a lot of phones, but uh, given Samsung's track record, it is far better than what it sold for the Galaxy S5, yes, but it is only similar to what it sold of the Galaxy S4. That's actually the same record or almost close to it, which means that yes, the Galaxy S6 is a success for Samsung so far, but uh, not one that'll help it break any records. So it does lead me to the question of the day. Do you think that the Galaxy S6 is a success? Have you feel enticed to buy one? In my case, I like the design of the phone, I just hate the fact that it's not expandable, and I hate the battery life. But uh, hey, leave us a comment down below. What do you think could improve with this device? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.